Hey, what's up, students? We've got some work to do here. This is the miffing teeth. Solve for y and substitute appropriately. Ooh, I like those directions. That sounds kind of goofy. So solve for y. What do you mean solve for y? Isolate y. Get y all by itself. Okay. I'm going to add a 12x to both sides. So I rewrite here. We'd have a 6y equaling a 12x plus a 42. Divide everything by 6. Okay, y is going to equal a 2x, and then 42 divided by 6, last time I checked, I believe, is 7. Let me double check here. Yep, we got it. Okay, so y equals 2x plus 7. All right, so now I'm really going to test your mental math skills here. So if a y equals 2x plus 7, what in the world does a 2y equal? Oh, a 2y would just be double that. So a 2y would be 4x plus 14. Well, what does a negative 5y plus 100 equal? Well, here's what I would do. I would substitute in the y and just simplify it here. So I'm going to do it right over here. So we have a negative 5 times y. What does y equal? y equals a 2x plus a 7. And there's that plus 100. So we'd have to distribute the negative 5. Again, some people could do this with mental math. Negative 5 times 2 would be a negative 10x. Negative 5 times a negative 7 would be a negative 35, I believe, plus 100. So the only thing you really have to simplify is the numerical value. So we'd go negative 10x, and that's going to be plus 65. Here we go. Yep, 100 minus 35, I believe, is 65. Just double checking here. Got them, 65. Okay. So again, solve for y, double it. That's easy. Take a time to negative 5 and add a 100. Okay, no problem. What is this? 8x plus 10y minus 19. Oh, it's actually not that bad. 10y means we would just take this and we would take it times 10. Basically add a decimal to it. I'll write it over here. So a 10 times 2x plus 7 would be a do do 20 x plus 70. Okay, so we'd have an 8x. We got a stack with it, and then we'd have to do a minus 19 in the end. So I kind of did the middle part. I did, I kind of did that part right here. Here's the middle part, and then there's the 8x, so we need to add to that, and the minus 19, which we need to take away from that. So 8x and a 20x would be a 28x. 70 minus 19, I believe, is a 51. Ooh, type it out right, bro. Gotcha. Plus 51. Oh, that's a good, good math question, right? We got to solve for y and then substitute this basically for all the different variations of y. So a little bit of everything here. This is a good algebra. This is a good flex. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. It's a pretty good one. So here we go. That was the miffing teeth for this checkpoint.